Hello all, welcome. I'm going to show you a little bit of how I'm going to create some of the assets for my uh, game called the Cosmic Mission. Uh, one of the things that this game has a lot of is uh, crystals. So uh, I'm going to use uh, the Oculus Medium, which came with it. Uh, it's a sculpting program to sculpt a single crystal. Uh, of course, this is just a small demonstration. Uh, I might actually do the whole interior of the spaceship uh, where you command the uh, drone from inside this program, but that will be uh, given to you, uh, all the people who are developer insiders. But I wanted to give everybody an example of how I'm creating some of the assets um, uh, to all my fans and all of my backers. So anyhow, first of all, uh, this game, this this program is a sculpting program, um, and uh, it it's it's done in 3D. It's done in VR. It's super intuitive, um, and uh, and I think it's a really good great way to create organic shapes. I mean, I can do you know uh, really interesting stuff really quick uh, without um, uh, spending too much time with the tendency with the normal applications. To be mired down by the, uh, you know, the precision that uh, normally is uh, associated with modeling, um, where I could just shape, shape plus, uh, add and subtract clay, you know. So, uh, anyhow, let me show you what I'm going to build. Um, as all good sculptors and modelers, the first thing you want to do is pull in some references, and luckily this program is super sweet and allows you to do. Uh, um, uh, references. Oops, there you go. References. Let's pull my crystal. There it is. Um, let's see here. I'm going to make it, put it right here in this space. Make it bigger. I think, what one do I want to do? This is just a Google search on uh, quartz crystals. You've probably seen the same results. Um, ba roughly speaking, m my uh, the crystals are based off of quartz structure. You know, lots of uh, tall, skinny um, crystals from from this core, the matrix. Um, so you know, these are super sweet. Look how they're all angled. But nonetheless, I'll probably just do strewn straight up. Uh, normally, I probably wouldn't need this much references on a crystal because um, there's a shape in itself is not that complex. But I just want to show you that it's pretty easy to to make uh, to get pull in references in medium, uh, which is important. Uh, okay, so let's start. So now I got my references. I uh, got my my um, my tools set on circle, and, and green means add, red means take away, and there's a there's a undo on uh, on the left. So what I'm going to do is going to create a crystal. Now I think I'm going to make it straight. So uh, make it add, put this down, do a line. All right, this is going to be my crystal. Boop boop boop, boop right about there. Actually, I'm going to make it a little wider. Right there. Okay, that's my crystal. Then I just simply take my flatten tool. That's all obstructed by the controls to do the recording. Okay, this is a flatten tool. What I like to flatten is once you establish an angle, no matter how you twist it, it just slices it off. But what I'm going to do is make a five-sided. Uh, I mean, it can be anywhere. Up. That looks like six actually that one looks like could be five one one two three four five one goes to five all right i'm gonna take a, a big chunk out of one side big chunk right there, right there. and then the smaller chunk and and then that there i didn't make my line straight i like a little tapered though as though you know, structurally, uh, like all structures, uh, they taper as they get closer. No, I made it more than five sides, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. All right, well, this is going to be six structure. We fun. All right, so then cut the top off. Cut the top off. Cut the top off. Okay, I want to take a good chunk of that one. Alright, and one thing I can do is I also pick it up and move it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very straightforward. 
Uh, that's a one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes in uh, crystal uh, lore, or how do you call it, uh, that a seven-sided face is considered to be uh, one that communicates with the spirits, uh, especially if it's married with a, a three-sided uh, facet. But um, we're not going to get into that too much. Oh, look at that! Perfect little uh, uh, crystal. But that's all fair. Let's, let's add some details, like it got binged up a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually switch tools to uh, clay. I'm gonna switch to uh, a square. I'm gonna subtract, right? And then I'm just gonna take some notches out. Like, ooh, what? Oh, I got hit by some. Or maybe there's some just impurities in the, uh, the uh, cosmic crystal that made it, uh, the way it is. So special. I must have made that too close. I'm just going to load a few. Then right in the middle, right there. Yeah, just a little bit. I pro and what I'll probably do is bake these into it. Oh, I got, see, I got the line tool on. Oh, gosh. No wonder it's not behaving correctly. All right. Ooh, too much. Now I can do it. Do, do, do. Okay. Again, it's a trigger thing and just whatever. So I'm going to take a little bit off the top. All right, boom, look at that. Ooh, I love it. Not to say that. One thing you can do, uh, as a side note, uh, you can increase the resolution after you've been modeling for a while, uh, and it just and makes it so there's more more geometry. Um, sometimes you have to clean it up a little bit. So like, um, you know, you can go in there with a smooth tool and just clean it up a little bit. So, but you know, so you get these little jaggies. But that kind of stuff is probably more suited for, you know, Moto or Maya or something like that. So I'll just export this. I'll put it in my game as as one facet. You know, obviously what I could do, uh, if I felt like it, I could duplicate it. Uh, oops, just like this one. Duplicate. Yep. And then, and then I could just, you know, and then, there, there, and, oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. But I probably wouldn't do that in this particular one because it's exactly the same. But I can make, you know, I can make a library of these things and then uh, pick and choose inside of the application, uh, Moto or Maya or whatever, and then, and then pair them up and, and then uh, uh, put material uh, like a, a painter, uh, algorithmic painter to make them look like crystals. But nonetheless, I just want to show you some of the process that I'm doing to uh, to get some of my assets. So there's a simple crystal. Look at that. It kind of looks like something. Yeah. There you go. Um, hopefully this is my first example of actually recording something in VR. Um, this is very exciting to me. It's very intuitive. I wish you guys could experience it firsthand. I think it's really going to change the way people uh, make content and um, experience content. So VR, boom. All right, now how do I stop this thing?